Uh, you know, it's like finding hidden gems on Invention Day. Uh, my name is Ming Chen. You might know me from a little TV show called Comic Book Men. Uh, I, thank you. Thank you. Uh, I'm a frequent collaborator with Kevin Smith. Um, and, I, and as much as I love, I love hosting this cosplay contest. Um, I have a co-host this year, and I love her to death. And she's amazing. Uh, please introduce yourself. Hey everyone, I'm Anna Mia. I've been cosplaying since 2008, and now I am writing comics. I am currently writing Betty Page and the Alien Agenda, which comes out in March in comic book shops. Um, from fan to cosplayer to, to comic book creator to writer. Yeah, it, it's kind of coming full circle, so I'm kind of excited for the day that I can have cosplayers cosplaying a character that I created, which would be really, really cool. Oh, it's definitely going to happen. <laughs> it's definitely going to happen. Like, we're going to see that at the, at the Comic Con Revolution yes. cosplay, cause possibly, like, next year. They, they might get bonus points, just saying. Yeah, yeah, you know, we, the judges can be easily swayed with either creations or, or money or... Bribes only. Yeah. I, yeah, my opinion changes very quickly with uh, like a double-double animal style, so I'm just saying, you know, in and how it represent. Uh, but I, I, I don't know, I love cosplay as the ultimate representation of fandom. Um, you find a character that you love so much that you want to become that character, and then you work months becoming that character, and then it comes out and you look at yourself in the mirror, you come to a con, or you take photos of the people, it's like, wow, this is amazing. Um, can you tell us about what you're wearing now? Because it's insane. <laughs> so actually, my friend Shelby, over there, she is actually a special effects makeup uh, artist in Hollywood. Um, and so she and I worked on kind of like this idea of a Hellraiser-inspired Cenobite. So she created all the molds and the prosthetics, and then um, if you came by the booth earlier today, she did a three-hour prosthetic application um, at the booth. Um, and this is her her work. So we have a joint project here. And uh, listen, I've been to other cons around the country, around the world. Uh, I know you guys kick it up bigger in the Inland Empire, so I mean, give it up for yourselves. You guys, you guys look amazing. You guys look amazing. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, LA is fun. It's all about the Inland Empire, though, man. You guys, you guys are great. Thank you very much. So, without further ado, a uh, couple things. Uh, contestants, do not remove your masks, please. Uh, I guess I'll put mine on while you march up here. We'll just try to be safe. And, uh, yeah, so the, do you want to hear the categories? we got some categories here. Um, so we have a Best Original Creation is a category. And I should grab one of these. Yeah, do you have time? Yeah. Grab one of these medals. So the Comic-Con Revolution cosplay medals are amongst some of the best I've ever seen. Um, they're, these are legit, my friends. They are pointed. I always, I probably shouldn't say this, but, it, like, if... If anything goes down, you could use these as a weapon. Yeah. <laughs> like I've, 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 yeah, they're 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 solid metal. Uh, they're pointed, so you could use them as a Chinese star if you had to. Yeah. Or you know, or you know, if Cap yeah, Shield. I? Yeah, I mean, he's got he's got the shield. If you need a like a second best thing, you could definitely use that. So we got uh, bronze, silver, and gold medals. The categories are best original creation, uh, best recreation. Uh, and my favorite, the judge's choice, and then we have the top three. So, you know, first runner-up, second runner-up. The best in show, my friends, uh, gets a cash prize. Do you know what this cash prize is? Five hundred dollars. Five bills. That's, that's, a, that's, that's a lot of warbler, right? Like, I don't know, I don't know like, what the price of warbler is right now. Two sheets of warbler. Well, not the thick sheets that. Uh, that uh, yeah, or you know, you could fill up your gas tank for that. Uh, I've seen the bigger. It's not. It's not oh, pretty, my friend. And then uh, we also have uh, it's a special oh jet black silver medallion that Comic Con Revolution is pretty much known for. Uh, they don't give these like do these stealth really black medallions them. anywhere that I've ever seen. So. They're they're really cool. I mean, it's it's that black onyx metal, like. Oh. Yeah, I saw you try to sneak one in your launch fly bag back there. I'm like, no, no. Yeah. Um, I must earn it, like one of them. Yeah. So again, the uh, the categories are best in show, first runner up, second runner up, uh, best original creation, best recreation, and judges' choice. So that's six categories. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, so before we get you guys up here, you guys look amazing. Uh, we have to introduce the judges who have the unenviable choice 
of choosing the winners in these categories. Um, yeah, I, I, I never want to judge because one, I'm not qualified, and two, I don't want, you know, it's tough. So if you've judged, yeah, you've I, judged before, right? I, I usually judge, so I'm very, after looking at all the contestants right now, I'm so glad I'm not judging because you guys are going to have a very tough job right now. Yeah, um, but uh, I do want to introduce you guys. You, you guys are the, the, you know, you guys decide who the fates of these cosplayers here. Not life or death, yeah, right. but, yeah. Uh, but I'm going to give this down to you. Uh, if you guys could please introduce yourselves. Uh, here, we'll start with you. Hi, everybody. I'm Angie Viper. Um, I've been working with this convention since literally day one. I'm so happy to be back here, and I'm so happy to see Everybody here, thank you all for sticking around to watch the contest tonight. Um, uh, I have been uh, cosplaying since 2000. I have been competing in costume competitions since 2015-ish. I just recently took Best Masters at the LA Comic Con Whoa. National Cosplay Championships. Um, so I am super duper excited to be here. I'm super excited to share my passion for cosplay with all of you and with all of our absolutely incredible contestants. I can't turn around. <laughs> Sorry guys, tight fit. Uh, hi everyone, I'm Drew the Costumer. Uh, I've been cosplaying since 2010 or so, uh, and I've been competing since then. Uh, I've kind of put that aside. I'm now a specialty costumer out in LA. Uh, I deal with superheroes, uh, Star Wars, etc. Um, I do a lot, I'm around. Uh, I'm so happy to be here, and so happy to be a part of this con the Ooh. contest. Ooh. Hi guys, my name is Castillo, Little Kage. I've actually been cosplaying since 2003. I know, I don't look old. But um, it's, I've done costuming and competitions for about 10 years since I've traveled across the US or and out of the country itself. Um, other than that, I'm actually very honored to be here and be a part of this contest. So, good luck, guys. Thank you, guys. Uh, good, good luck. I just, um, yeah, they used to ask me to judge. I'm like, I don't, I've never burned my hands on Warblaw. I've never cut out a sheet of EVA craft foam. Like, I've used Elmer's glue, you know? And that, I'm like, it's still the best. Yeah, but like, I was like eating it. I wasn't like using it. So like, yeah, so that doesn't count. So, um, and one other, one last thing. So last time we were all gathered in this in this convention center, it was I did the math. It was over 900 days ago, which is insane. But it's over two and a half years ago. I think it was May 15th or 16th, 2019. So truly, welcome back. I know we were dying to be back here, but yeah, please. Welcome back. Um, and if this is your first time here, like you see how awesome this convention is. So uh, yeah, but if you're a returning guest, like welcome back for sure. So without further ado, uh, I'm going to let you kick this off. Um, so Cosmere, as you come up here, uh, go to the end, come back, and leave. I already told them how to do it. He did. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, I'm just, there are no stairs on this side, so don't, don't step off that side. And don't trip over the mic cord. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. So you guys ready? Yeah. All right. I'm going to have you kick it off with the first one. All right. So starting us off, we have the Candylorian. I, I'm biased. I saw you earlier. I was like, yeah, you're, you look delicious. But like, and I was like, that sounds weird, right? Like, yeah, but you do. It look, that's so, that's so amazing. Like that, the mashups. I love the mashups. Candy coated fierceness. Yes. They're like this is the this is the candy way, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> uh, coming up to the stage next, Laurel cosplay as Queen Anna from Frozen Two. Come on up here. It's amazing. So I just have to preface this. I I was trying to sew on a patch the other day, and like I bled everywhere. Like just sewing on a patch. <laughs> I. Why does why don't every dresses have pockets made of? Women have been wondering that forever. <laughs> Let's change this. Starting with her. Let's yeah. change this fuck the trend for sure. Alright, next up we have Catalini cosplay as the Lick Queen Elsa. Come on up there. Whoa! Whoa. Look at all those lights. Oh. God bless. Like, 
Welcome to your children, everybody. You don't want your children getting stolen. Wait, which bears are best, brown bears or black bears? I can't remember. Oh, um, let's hope we don't meet either. Uh, coming up to the stage, like Danica Hammond as Sukuna Jujutsu Kaisen. Jujutsu. <laughs> I didn't schedule my manicure today. Yeah, tomorrow, maybe. Yes. Uh, who do we got next? All right. Up next, we have Erica as Sela Moss. Come out here, Sela. Close it up, we got pro photographers here. Well done, well done. Uh, coming up to the stage next is Maxwell Scheller as McDelorean? McDelorean! McDelorean! Hello, Mary Take your order. Hello, Mr. Floyd Walker. Our special today, Darth Tater Tots. Ice cream, anyone? I did not see that coming. Yes. Is that a Game Boy? Nice! Look at the camera! Dude, that's next level, man. Old school. Old school. Wow. There you go. Alright, this is the McWay. This is the McWay! This is the McWay! Wow. I love that we've got a full dinner and dessert going on. Oh, dude, the Burger King better watch out, man. Uh, the ham the, what, what did you do with the Hamburglar? No disintegrations. Or, <laughs> he was hot, but I took him in cold. Yeah, the Hamburglar, is a, he's not that nice. Okay, let's go raid Jack in the hut. <laughs> what do we have coming up next? All right, next we have Ken Bodie as Gamora. Come up, Ken. Thank you. 
Don't throw it. Don't listen to that guy. Don't throw it. Don't throw it. Don't throw it. Don't throw it. You're gonna hit some kid in the head and yeah, yeah. Don't encourage him. Amazing, ladies and gentlemen, your 2021 Comic Con Revolution Comic Con Just contestants. I don't know how you're gonna pick. They were all really amazing. Everybody owns that stage. That's gonna be really tough. Yeah, I know. You know. Yeah, I. Do, yeah. Good luck, judges. Uh, are you Are you guys ready to judge? You got your notes and. Uh, the next room to oh, okay. Can you give us like five minutes? We can. All right, great. Well, we can. We will be right back. What, do we do stand up? Do we do stand up comedy you now until then? No, yes, no, no, yes. we do not. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yeah. Yeah. What? Death sticks? What's up with that? Like, <laughs> yeah. Um, are you having a, are you having a great time? This is your first Comic Con Revolution. Yeah. Are you having a great time? I'm having a great time. So this is my first time out here. I am really enjoying seeing not only the cosplays but all the attendees. Like I said, it, like you said, it's it's been two years since a lot of us have been at conventions, and you really can feel that excitement and that just happiness that everyone has just being here. And I think that's what we've all been needing is just that boost of energy from other people just like us. Um, and so thank y'all for bringing the energy to the convention. <laughs> yeah, so I was so happy when they announced you as a guest. I was like, I, did, I couldn't wait for you to, when I find stuff that I really like, I want all my friends to see it too. So this is one, this is one of those, yeah. yeah. But yeah, I, I think at first everyone was like, you're going to Ontario, Canada? I'm like, no, California, it's cooler than Ontario. There's an airport right by the convention center. I will say, the weather here, so I'm from Seattle, so we, we get, it's kind of rainy, a little cold, this has been glorious, and I don't want to leave, um, so you guys do really have the best weather here. I, can we mention, that, like, you're actually kind of like on your honeymoon, right? A little bit, yeah, so went on the honeymoon, so this is kind of the, the last part of it, so kind of glad that I get to spend my little honeymoon trip with you guys. Um, <laughs> So yeah, it's been great. Right, congratulations. Yeah, your your beautiful husband is right over here, Justin. He's, he's the man. He's the man. And I mean, I guess it's fitting that your kind of sort of honeymoon end, like, like culminates at a con. I think I think that's my life. My life, it's just proven to revolve around cons. And I feel like the same with you. You've been kind of going all over. I, yeah, but like, you know me, I'm not, like, I'll go, like, I'll go do an opening of a bag of potato chips, you know, because I love, like, I love it so much, right? So, but, yeah. Ming, Ming is the one person I know that can go out and have fun with brand new people that he's met at a con. And, and hang out until I don't even know how, how late, and then still wake up the next morning to do a 5K for charity. Like, was that, that was for like the con or charity, was I, it? it was, yeah, I, I, I was helping kids or something. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know how he does this. This, like, I, I can barely get out of bed in the morning after eight hours of sleep, and this, this man's doing a 5K right in the morning of a con and then going to his booth, so. Yeah, I love it so much. Well, that one, they had this cool superhero medal. It's like, I want the medal. I want the medal, and, and and then I was like running, and maybe I was a little hungover. Like I don't really want the medal anymore. Like, I got the medal though. I got the medal. Good, good. Yeah, I don't know. How, I don't know how you have the endurance that you do. Um, I don't know. Coffee. I drink a lot of coffee. Yeah, like Death Wish coffee. You ever had that? Yeah. Death Wish coffee, the world's strongest coffee. Yeah. Shout out to Death Wish coffee, man. Woo! That stuff is insane. I I mean, you honestly do have a Death Wish drinking that. Um, but it's amazingly flavored, so... Yeah, I'm not just saying that because they sent me free coffee, but, like, <laughs> oh, nepotism, it's okay, right? <laughs> now, what else have you been up to? I, I, I know that you've been, um, doing a lot of unboxings. I, I have, I think, I took a page out of, like, I, I saw that one kid who's getting paid 23 mil to, um, like, open up toys and stuff. Oh, Ryan. I was like, yeah, we're Ryan, yeah. Ryan. Yeah, I was like, I could do that, and, and... Yeah, no one's paying me twenty-three billion. <laughs> I mean, the kid's got his own toy line, but also so do you, kind of. You got your own Funko, and which I still need. 
Yeah, you're a collect. I'll, I'll find one for you. <laughs> I'll find one for you. You would think I've known you for years, but I mean, you've you've really gotten out there with like these collectibles. I think you have a new one at your booth now, right? Uh, yeah, I do. This company called Knuckleheads is like, hey, would you mind if we made a little vinyl figure of you? And I'm like, mind? I'm like, uh, yeah. So that yeah, I have them at my table. They made like 400 of them. I'm like, cool. I'm gonna sell these at cons and. Um, yeah, I'm gonna just, you know, I'm gonna try to crush Funko with the, no, I'm not, I can't. <laughs> can't crush Funko with those. I don't think they'd be very happy. But you should definitely go grab one of his toys because I didn't get one of his Funkos and I've regretted it ever since. So make sure you grab one of his toys because, yeah, they're super cute. And then you can have a Ming Minion army. I'll find one for you. I, ne I never, I didn't get you guys a wedding present, so I'll, I'll, fi I'll yeah, it's a... Is that a fitting wedding present? Like a yes, a little mini Ming for a wedding present? That's great. Who wouldn't want a mini Ming? Yeah, if you're a serious collector, how many Funkos do you have in your collection, though? Yeah. Uh, ballpark. Well, years. Don't, don't listen. Um, I think I'm up past 450 at this point. Whoa. You can, like, start your own booth here next year. <laughs> we, we try not to take them out in where he can see them all that's together. Like, like I did whole, that one time. And, that's like, and like, like almost he, a whole house full of them. <laughs> we all have problems. <laughs> Collective Funko. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a lot. Yeah, I, it's it's hard because you know, they, really, it is because they they start these collections, right? Like I was like, oh, I'm gonna collect all the Harry Potters, and I think just the Harry Potter alone, Potter alone, there's like 150. I thought I have any. Yeah, once you get started, it's, it's like Pringles. You can't stop. Yeah, uh, that's the blaze, but yeah, okay. Like you can't just have one, right? So. We made like a crystal blue, like Moaning Myrtle, New York Comic Con exclusive. It's like, well, I have to have that, right? And then, yeah. I remember I was like, I don't need a, I, I don't have 450, I have like 100 or so. But I was like, that's it, I don't need any more. And then they, then I got my own. It's like, okay, one more. And then I was like, I don't need any more. Then they came out with, with Die Hard ones. The ones from the movie Die Hard, which is a Christmas movie, of course. Yeah. Right? Right? Yeah. yeah. Yippee Kai, yay! Yes. Ho, 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 now I have a machine gun. Come on. Does it need to be spelled out any clearer? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Now I have a machine gun. Ho, bleep, ho, bleep. Ho, yeah. Um, yeah, then they came out with Lost Boys one, so I had to have those, so. That's the, see, that's the problem with Funko, is they keep coming out with new licenses for, like, everything that I love. And, uh, yeah, once they do that, I'm just kind of hooked, so. Yeah, and then, uh, is there something they haven't made yet that you want to see them make? Gosh, um... Uh, mine is uh, the ever anyone ever seen the movie Point Break? Yeah. Yes, that's what I want to see with like the ex presidents and the, I, I need a Patrick Swayze and I need a Keanu Reeves. God, I I honestly don't know. I feel like they they every time I think of one, I'm like, no, they did it. It's like The Simpsons. Simpsons did it. Funko did it. Funko did it. Um, yeah, I don't know. All right. Yeah, you'll I mean you'll figure it out. Yeah, so. eventually. Well, yeah, yeah, it was cool. Um, I understand you went r rolled by uh, Funko Hollywood the other day. Yes, you guys. I, I will say this. Okay, I love Seattle. Seattle is my home. Y'all have this the the superior Funko store. I will say that that thing is huge. If you haven't been, it's over like the by the Hollywood Hall of, Hall of Fame or the Walk Walk of Fame. Walk of fame. And it is ginormous. There's a section for every single fandom that you might love. I definitely recommend going there. And if anything, going for the photo ops. It's super cool. Um, but yeah, you, you guys win on the Funko HQ. <laughs> Did I see you were on a throne yesterday? Yes. They have a giant throne with um, all the large Funko Pops that are about this big. Um, if I had those, my whole house would be... Those would be my children. <laughs> okay, yeah, I mean, sure, yeah. <laughs> I, I treat some of them like my children, yeah. That's, yeah. That's, so, yeah, um, did you, um, I assume you bought, a, like, one or two things? I bought enough that I'm going to have to ship them home. So, <laughs> I tried to prevent myself from buying them, but there's no stopping. It's, yeah. We all had that feeling, one way or another. You're, you're preaching to the, you're literally preaching to the choir here. We, Yes, yeah, this is my last one. I don't need anything after this. Wait, now I have like, now I have like, I can't the phone. Yes. I know, right? Yeah, you are. You're like, count because they're flat, right? Yeah, so, exactly. So, you know, they fit in long boxes. It's a little bit harder to take a bunch of boxes, because I'm an, I'm an inbox collector. 
So, yeah. It's a little bit harder for us. Oh, yeah. Um, are there ones that you've taken out, though? I, I have taken out some, but um, those are ones that I, I have been trying to keep forever, and, and now I'm on the, the proto hunt, which if you're, if you're a Funko collector, that is, don't even go there. That, it, it's expensive. And they're rare, and they're very hard to get, but... Yeah, so, so the proto, yeah, explain this. So Funko Protos are the prototypes for Funkos. So whenever they make a new Funko, they create a couple prototypes, which are the artist proofs. They check them to make sure they're, they're what they want. And occasionally they will end out, up out in the world, and there's usually only about maybe three or five of them for each Funko Pop. So finding them is a grail and kind of a competition amongst um, you know, those who are trying to collect. And yeah, I went down that rabbit hole and yeah. Yeah, yeah I think you might have a problem. I think you definitely have a problem, which, which is not a problem though. I'm just saying that, I'm pointing out, yeah. I, th I think this is the group of people that no one would have a problem with my problem. <laughs> No, no, no. So you're in the groups and everything. You're yeah. like just hunting things down. You're like, like, like shaking and like almost. Like <laughs> it's it's kind of crazy how much some of those can go for, and uh, yeah, while it's prepared. Uh, well, good luck on your <laughs> your Funko hunt. Yeah. And uh, yeah, if you come upon the Ming Chen prototype, uh, yeah, I'll take that one off your hands. It's out there somewhere, I guess. Well, we have a dark face. A dark face. Dirt a dirt fa dirt face? Yeah, the devil has a dirt face. I, yeah, you can't see my dirt face. I'm wearing, wearing the mask. Do you find Do you find that you actually still like make smiley faces and like I've actually sat there and like made a goofy face with my tongue sticking out behind the mask, and afterwards I'm like, why did I just lick the inside of my mask for a photo? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, just because we have the mask on, we don't change who we are, right? So yeah. we make the, the, the silly face. Yeah. yeah, you just end up licking your mask. You're truly anonymous, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, I gotta let the mask stop me from being a goofball. Never. No, no. And you just find, you know, you just find ways to just kind of accentuate it with your eyes and the rest of your body. <laughs> I love it. Well done, my friend. Okay. Well done. I, are you you're here tomorrow? Are you going to be back tomorrow? Are you excited about tomorrow? Yes, yeah, so I will be here tomorrow. I will also be hosting the children's cosplay competition. Oh, so will I. How, oh, not, how convenient. Oh, oh. Ho, ho. Uh, so if you're here tomorrow, yeah, definitely put your kids in the costume. Get them up here. They win prizes. So. Yeah, they do. And um, I will be up here hosting as Edna Mode, so that I'm excited about that. Um, I'm, I'm excited to tell little children with capes that there's no capes. Like, I'm... <laughs> When one child is Superman is gonna get told that there's no capes. What you have, a, you have an Edna? Yeah. Oh yeah, no full on Edna. I, Edna, I love like that is one cosplay I love doing the voice. You just you gotta go full Edna when you do an Edna cosplay because it's just so fun. Incredible Pentel. Yes. <laughs> my favorite line. She's so condescending though. She's like, my lord, you've gotten fat. Well, I'm, I'm, the, I'm the nicer uh -oh. right now. The judges have made the oh. choices. The judges are back. They look serious. Come on up. Come on up. Yeah. Come on up. Yeah. Oh. Judges are back, everybody. Judges are back. I don't know how you did this, um, but um, yeah. So I'm gonna let you guys announce the winners. I'm gonna get the medals, and I, I will medal them. And um, um, let me just go over with you really quickly. Oh, okay. Okay, fantastic. And and what are the hard boiled eggs for? <laughs> Just in case. <laughs> okay, if you need a protein boost, we have hard boiled eggs. May, may I offer you an egg in these trying times? I don't know if I get it through my mask, but the egg the eggs are pretty amazing. Um, yeah. So where do you want to begin? Uh, do you want to judge its choice first and work your way up? Uh, Tickle in my throat. Give me one second. Okay. <laughs> Um, uh, here, I'm going to give this over to you then. Let's you start with this. Yeah. Um, so first and foremost, I always like to take a moment to just make this acknowledgement. I feel the tickle in my throat again. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's what the mask is for. Okay. I would like to take a moment to just thank each and every one of you who competed, each and every one of you who cosplayed today, who showed up today, 
you guys are doing something that really is is not easy and it's it's scary and it's intimidating and you guys own this every single day that you put on a costume you are living your freaking truth and uh, you are inspiring people and you inspire me and I absolutely love each and every one of you. So can we just get a round of applause yeah. for every single person who does this? Because let me tell you, it's not easy. Yes! So uh, now that that emotional stuff is out of the way, we're gonna start with the judge's choice. Each judge's choice is going to get uh, one of these special limited edition bronze medals, which from what I understand, we're redesigning soon. So these are like the last ones, too. Ooh. Do you guys want to announce your own? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. Castiel, you want to start us off? All right. So for mine, I thought, you know, her character was probably... So her character was by far my favorite because she walked up to us with like doubting herself and all of this. And honestly, you shouldn't ever do that to anybody here. Um, it is Ken for her Gamora. She owned that stage that she got up here. So. I'd like to point out that I told everybody in orientation that you could not have your own custom music, and this chick was like, I'm sorry, I'm Gamora, I'm doing it anyway. <laughs> uh, my judge's award is going to somebody who really made me smile today, and uh, I just, I, I got such a kick out of the costume, um, and it made me really happy. Uh, and the name, there it is. It was uh, James Getz for his Belschnickel. Get up here. Yes. <laughs> I love this costume. James just walked in and he was like, yeah, I'm Dwight, I'm Belschnickel. I'm going to hit some people with my branch thing. It's going to be great. <laughs> yeah, even in pre -judge. And the dude just walked in ready to catch hands. Great job, dude. <laughs> Uh, so for my judge's choice, I was very impressed by this person's overall um, cohesiveness of their costume. I loved the way that everything really worked together and the way that they sort of took something that had source material and very much made it their own, which to me is so much a part of cosplay. And then they got up here and owned this stage and that person is Derek as the Moon Knight. Oh, oh, oh. So welcome. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it, guys. Thanks a lot. Good job. Good job. Yeah, we're going to do a group picture at the end. Yolo yeah. swag it? You know, if you want to, because you have the list. Great. Yeah. Totally. I'll just sit here and. Yolo swag it. Yeah, shake those eggs. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. All right, so next up is uh, best original uh, costume or design. And this person is getting one of our special gold medals. Ooh. Mm. Um, so this person, we were, again, very impressed by the cleanliness of their work. We were very impressed by uh, um, the, uh, the uniqueness of the design and uh, the way that everything came together. And that person is a Matthew as the Red Dragon High Lord. <laughs> now, some of you may know that this is based on a character from the Dra Dragon Lance. Dragon Lance book series, but since we don't have a reference for that, this is a completely original interpretation of a character that literally is just text on a page.
Next up, we have Best Recreation. This person also getting one of our fancy gold medals. So this person, we were very impressed with the cleanliness of their design and how closely they worked to recreate um, as many elements of their character's design as possible. And then got up here and crushed it. And that person is canon as Mirage Revenger. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Come on up, man! Yeah. Go get the prize! Yeah. Now that he's in character, every second is fantastic. It <laughs> <laughs> matches your little character trophy. Amazing. All right, so uh, next we have third place, our second runner-up. And they are taking one of our special black medals. There are very few of these and they are literally stunning. So for our third place, that is going to someone who we were extremely impressed with their craftsmanship, with the cleanliness, with the shape, with the dedication to uh, every single teeny tiny little detail. And that person is Kayatri as Nico Yazawa. I don't know if you ever guys have ever sewed on sequins before, but every single one of her bows is hand sewed on sequin fabric. It's beautiful. Take a close look later. Next is our runner-up, second place. This person, we were just so blown away by every single detail of their costume. I mean, there was just so many things to look at. We could not stop. And uh, we were so excited to see them take this stage. And that person is Catalini as Lich Queen Elsa. <laughs> The fact that she incorporated Snowball onto her shoulder pauldron, like, can you see this giant snowman face? It's all hand sculpted. She's got Olaf on her belt buckle. Like, the more you look at it, there's just more and more and more details to this costume. Congratulations. And last but not least, let me grab it here. Just kidding. You still have it, right? Just kidding. Just kidding. You got the money, right? Just okay. kidding. Here it is. That is an envelope full of cash. <laughs> All ones. <laughs> All ones. All ones. Who's going out later? <laughs> so uh, our... Yes! Yes! We'll take half. So finally, last but definitely not least, taking home one of our limited edition black medals and $500 cash for their incredibly clean, absolutely beautiful, pristinely designed, pristinely stitched, beautifully crafted, and surprise on stage, I mean, am <laughs> Rebecca in your Dragon Rider Princess. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. You guys owned this show tonight. I am so proud of each and every one of you. Thank you so much for making this an absolutely incredible first contest back. Congratulations to each and every one of our winners. You guys are so amazing. I will want to say good job to everybody else that did compete. Your work is never, it has all, has touched our heart. It made it, it really difficult for us to actually choose people. Trust us. It, yeah. it, it took us 100%. a bit. 100%. <laughs> Could not agree more. Do you want to say anything? Oh, yeah. Yeah. You guys all did great. Thank you. <laughs> uh, thank you. And uh, I, I see a lot of cosplayers in the audience here. Get up here on stage next year. Win, win or just compete or show, show, show up your cosplay for sure. And uh, 
And uh, yeah, before we go, we have a we have a special announcement here, Mia. Yeah, I believe we have a birthday here with the judges. Correct? Oh. Oh. Oh, oh, all right, so oh, okay. let's all say sing happy birthday oh. to Angie. All right. <laughs> ready? ready? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Angie Viper. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, my friend. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Are you kidding? Oh my God. Happy birthday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, we don't have a cake. We'll get you a cake. Uh, if you guys could, could you guys stay up here for photos? Is that is that cool? Uh, yeah, yeah, you guys need photos uh, right over here. But yeah, otherwise, thank you guys very much. You got any closing words? You guys all did amazing. I, I don't don't envy the judges' job at all. That had to be so difficult. And everyone did amazing. And and I hope to see all of you in another cosplay competition in the future. Awesome. Thank you guys so much. I hope to see you next year. See you in 2022. <laughs> Can we get a group photo of everybody? Do you guys mind? Who can take a picture? Thank you so much. I only got two. Who gets the eggs? That's for me. In the middle with Drake's.